You can't come back here. Important notice, these dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. This looks like a job for Fester Shine Top. the red button. It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. I can't move it. I can't move it. I'll need this. I must be nuts. Fuck! <laughs> Gophers! Beautiful. I can't open it. Uh oh.
That should hold him for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. Come to interrogate the prisoner again, huh? So, uh, how's the food in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Slug, grog, gruel, rats, bugs, and body lice, if I can catch them. I have a carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made, even though she knows I detest carrot cake. Actually, the cook at the bar is an old friend of mine, and sometimes he sneaks me food, like pork trimmings, mostly feet and lips. But once in a while, he brings this really odd rump roast. What was so odd about the rump roast? Well, it's the only rump roast I ever seen with a prehensile tail. So who'd want to frame you? I don't know who exactly. I think it was a conspiracy. And if there's one type of piracy I don't like, it's Cole's piracy. Look, I like visitors and everything, but I don't have much more to say. Plus, my throat's getting dry from all this talking. Why don't you go find someone else to talk to? It's not like I'm the only pirate left on the island or anything. Hey, this might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake. This door appears to be locked. I've got the file! That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet! Uh-oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. 
I was just gonna borrow it. Ta! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says he was just borrowing it. That's right, I loaned it to him. What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Fester. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So, you were just going to borrow it, eh? Well... Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Golly! My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... Sweet. Listen. I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do? I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Bull. Rufenkiv. Gwingly? <sighs> I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Where do you think you're going, Froom Wade? I'm going to go put this idol in my safe deposit box. Oh, really? I know a really safe locker you could put it in. Davy Jones' locker. Hand over your sword. Uh-oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake, or Droop Face, or whatever your name is. Ah! Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. I can't reach that from here. I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. Well, that wasn't so hard. Now all I have to do is show this stupid idol to the pirate leaders and... You're alive! Governor! Hey, you can talk. <laughs> Who'd have known? What are you doing here? Come to finish the job? No, I came down here to save your life. Fester wasn't acting on my orders when he threw you in there. Uh, you came down here to rescue me? I, I didn't even think you liked me. Well, our first meeting was a little awkward. You seemed to have trouble forming complete sentences. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter. A nobody. A would-be pirate. Who would have known, or even cared, if you'd let me drown? I would have, Guybrush. Oh, Governor. Oh, Threepwood. Oh, Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. Sugar Boots. 
Honey pumpkin. Plunder bunny. Kiss me. No, we mustn't. What? Not here, where everyone can see us. Why, are you ashamed of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just that many of these pirates have made advances towards me. And to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them that my father made me promise never to fall in love with a pirate. If they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay then, let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. Quickly. running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. I've been had. This is no map. It looks like dancing lessons. Hmm. Looks like a big plus sign. What could that possibly mean? The legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. 
This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. Here lies treasure of such unimaginable wealth. Well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. Paid for by the Melee Island Chamber of Commerce. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. So confused. Hey, what are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped. What? By whom? The Chuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. Well, I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. I'll go get a crew in a ship and go rescue her. That's not gonna be easy, you know. LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Attention, Pirates of Melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. What's wrong, old sot? <laughs> the governor is gone. LeChuck and his spectral crew came and got her. They put her in the ghost ship and spirited her away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. For a small consideration, of course. What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. What can I do to save her? <laughs> you must get a ship and go after her. The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. All you need to do is find a way there. Where can I get a ship? Why, it's Smiling Stan's used shipyard. Same as everybody else. Tell him I sent you. We're old friends. Will you join me? Uh, alas, I cannot go to sea. An old war injury. I'm sure you understand. Right. I'm off! 
Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens. And your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Bye now. <laughs> You've already got the t-shirt. What do you want now? The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's ridiculous. Oh, no. This looks bad. Very bad. I'm getting a ship and a crew together to go rescue her. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock. Having just returned from melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island and drop anchor. Captain, sir, I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Captain? Captain, are you all right? Never felt better. And how fares our prisoner? Ah, yes, the uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little trouble. Trouble! No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times, but we've got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I'm not taking any chances now. You took care of Mr. Threepwood then? Guybrush Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, he's 20 feet underwater. Probably bloated up like a fattened pig. His eyes being eaten out by crabs. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kinda makes you wish you were there to watch. Ah, yes sir. Ugh. Sure does it that. Now, go check on the route. Make sure it's locked up tight. Aye aye, Captain. There's no answer.
kept in Smirk's Big Body Pirate Gym. Prices. Sword training, 30 pieces of weight. Cannon firing, 160 pieces of weight. Balls extra. Grappling hook, 130 pieces of weight. Hook extra. Gaudy, but in a cheerful sort of way. Hey! I don't like visitors. Who are you? The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's preposterous. Oh, really? Take a look at this note they left. Oh, no. <laughs> this is horrible! What are we going to do? We could get a crew together and sail off after them. What an idea! Now, if we only had a captain. Well, what about me? Ha! You! Ha! 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 Okay, let's see you prove it. Walk this way. There's something in here that I want to show you. Something horrible. Something so horrible that I stay awake at night just thinking about it. But I don't mean to scare you. I'm sure a big, brave guy like yourself will have no problem facing this monster. After all, it's much smaller than the beast that bit off my hands so many years ago! Arr, 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 arr. Let's just hope you're quicker than I was. Oh, I just remembered something. I never did get around to feeding him this week. Ha 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 ha! Silly me! I'll let you open this last door yourself. Just let me get out of your way. Wait. Ha ha ha! Getting cold feet? No, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to open that little door! And if you're brave enough, touch the beast inside. Oh, is that all? Okay, go ahead. If you've got the guts. I don't believe it! You are a brave man after all! You faced the beast I've feared all these years! You had the guts to do what I never could! I feel like such a coward! I'm not good enough to be on your crew! I'm not even good enough to swab your de 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 <laughs> Oh, come on, Mr... Uh, Meathook. Mr. Meathook? 
You're a big, strong, good-looking guy with a great tattoo. I can make it talk. Who want to see? Ha! Uh, maybe later. Anyway, you can swab my decks anytime. <laughs> really? Sure. I can still be on your crew. Just pack your stuff and meet me at the dock. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I won't let you down. Hey, maybe I'll get a chance to show you my whole tattoo routine when we're at sea. Wow, this is sounding better and better all the time. Wow, it works both ways. That's some chicken. The governor's been kidnapped! What? Here, look at this note! They kidnapped the governor? That really makes me mad! Oh, I feel like kicking someone! Hmm... I wonder if she left her place unlocked. If I let you out, would you join my crew? Sure! Of course! To my emancipator, I shall be eternally indebted. Until then, I pace. Did you know the governor's been kidnapped? Err... Uh, well, yes, we knew about that. I'm going after those immaterial authority figure nappers. Are you with me? Uh... Well... The governor could probably take care of herself. And we are sort of busy here. Yeah... And we've got the circus to think of. We've got to find the elephant. And get rid of these minutes! I'm sorry. We simply can't go at this time. <laughs> this stuff 
stuff is eating right through the mug. Looks like a fine pewter tankard. Great! A drink! I'm real thirsty. Yikes! Wow! And to think I used to drink that stuff. I'm free! Oh yeah, thanks. Sucker! <laughs> but... Do we still have a deal? I'm sure he'll be back. He gave me his word as a pirate. I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels, and I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big, fast, slow. You want it, I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, 
I'm not happy, but I know you're going to leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So tell me, what are you interested in looking at today? I don't really have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. This here is the famous Sea Monkey, the only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything? You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. Just how much were you looking to spend today? Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. All I have is this rubber chicken. Is it one of those rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? I already got one of those. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Of course it isn't! You're looking for a much bigger boat, I can tell. So, what else can I show you? Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. I forgot to give you my card. And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it. That's right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. They're moving fast today. Yes, sirree. Can't hardly keep anything in stock. He'll be back. you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster. Who 
by the way, says you can go jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again. What do you want? I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You are, I, uh, you got a job? Yes, of course I do. All right. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. Let's see here. What did you say your occupation was? I'm a grog-swilling, foul-smelling pirate. Foul-smelling, yes. Grog-swilling, maybe. But a pirate? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Come back when you got some tattoos, or a peg leg, or at least an eye patch for crying out loud. What else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm... I guess I could hike all the way over there... again. Be right back. And don't touch anything! There's nothing in here but this note. I, the good and honorable storekeeper, do hereby take liability for the debts of the bearer of this note for any amount up to 5,000 pieces of eight. to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So, what else can I show you? Uh, could I see the cheap one again? I knew it! I knew it! Just can't get her out of your mind, can you? Walk this way. A 
hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it? Hmm? How much would you like to spend? I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course! Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Uh, right. Let's get down to brass tack, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 10,000 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? I'd like to pay 2,000 pieces of eight. Sure, I guess we can start out at the bottom. I got all day. I'm going to be getting a whole new shipment next week, so you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? I'd still like to pay 2000 That's still not enough money. Inflation works in the other direction, you know? Just tell me, what would it take to get you to sail this ship away? Today. I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? Well, how does 3,000 pieces of eight sound? That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. You realize, don't you, that they just don't make them like this anymore? I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? Okay, okay, 4,000 pieces of eight. That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. Buddy, you can tell me the truth. It's the little woman, isn't it? You're afraid of what she'll say when you come home with a new ship. Don't be such a wimp. Stand up to her. She'll respect you for it. And when she sees this ship, She'll love you for it, trust me. I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? Actually, I'd like you to squirm a little more. Sure! Hey, that's my job, isn't it? I don't understand. I thought you were interested in this ship. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? All right, 5,000, but that's my final offer. That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. I'd let you take it out for a little spin around the harbor, but our insurance company won't let us. Forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now, wait a second. Don't go away mad. I'm sure we can work something out. Well, maybe you're right. Of course I am. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. I'm on your side, buddy. It's my boss that's the real miser. I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? 5,000. And that's my final, final offer. That's still not enough money. Inflation works in the other direction, you know? Maybe you haven't realized the fact that this is the only ship lot on the island. 
well, what do you think it's worth? You could sell this puppy away today for just 7,500 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? Forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now, wait a second. Don't go away mad. I'm sure we can work something out. Well, maybe you're right. Of course I am. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. I'm just thinking of my kids' education fund here. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 7,050 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? 5,000. And that's my final, final offer. 5,000 pieces of eight. Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh yeah, do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Thanks. I've gotta run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some bonding here. And I don't just say that to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? Sucker. See you at the dock and don't forget your crew. All three of them. Hey, it's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. But I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with this ship, and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Of course I am. I mean, just look at her. Sleek, aerodynamic, a buoyant barnacle-covered beauty. I think we're having a real moment here. I've changed my mind. I can't give her up. You can have your money back. How could I sell something so dear? Then again, a deal's a deal, right? Right. <laughs> Good luck, yeah. I'm, I'm out of here. Whoops, I almost forgot to give you this free seafaring literature. My gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stands! Maybe I should have gotten that extended warranty after all. Hey, long time no see. Have you come to be on my crew? Hey, I could never pass up a chance to make some easy money. Uh, money? Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right? Glad you could make it, Carla. Look, don't start with me, okay? So what's that waterlogged wreck doing out there? How are we gonna get our ship in here with that pile of scrap in the way? Where's the cabin boy? I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bags. What's going on here? Where's our ship? 
Where's our crew? This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. leadership of Captain Free uh, uh, Threepwood, the Sea Monkey is finally underway. Undaunted by their lack of navigational equipment or expertise, the crew begins to plan their voyage. First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? I made a list. Suckered is right. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. The way I look at it, we got this great ship. Well, we got a ship. Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the wheel, and cruise for a while? I could use a little work on my tan. Come to think of it, I have been a little stressed out lately. I could use a rest. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. Uh, I'm doomed. <laughs> 